In this video, I'm going to introduce you guys a very amazing plugin called Nova, which is an absolutely free plugin from LearnNowFX.com. By using this plugin, you can create this type of awesome looking animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So check out the link in the description for more details. Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16 and before we get started, we have to do some basic setting. So just click on this little gear icon over here and uh, set the size of this uh, project 1920 by 1080 and let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I am going with uh, 30 frame per second and uh, I'm going to set this uh, playback frame rate equal to this timeline frame rate. So set this value 30 and click on save. Now I'm going to create this animation inside of this fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition to start this work. So just go to this media pool, right click on that, click on this new fusion composition and let's call it anything. And uh, set the duration of this composition 5 seconds long which is good enough for one text and set this frame rate 30 and click on create. Now just drag this fusion comp on this uh, timeline just like that. And then click on this fusion page and here we have media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now and now we have to search nova plugin so hit ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for nova if you don't have this nova plugin then go to the link in the description and download this free plugin and install this plugin by simply drag and drop on this flow window once you have done this restart your davinci resolve and then follow this tutorial all right so this is our nova plugin hit add button to add this nova on this uh, flow window and just drag this nova on this uh, preview window and as you can see Initially, it's looking like this. Now I'm going to do some basic setting with this Nova plugin to get an awesome looking background. So just go to this inspector window and here we have different parameter. By using this zoom parameter, you can animate this background in G space like this. So just go to the end of this animation at frame number 149. Right click on zoom, click on animate. And then go to very first frame of this animation and uh, i'm gonna set this zoom value something around negative 90 degree and i'm gonna set this uh, scatter solid something around 1.7 is a scatter solid 0.6 line thickness 0.15 all right and now I'm going to set this brightness closed lines 1 and we get this type of uh, background. Now just open this glow and here we have bloom. So I'm going to set this uh, value something around uh, 0 0.4. So as you can see you can create different type of uh, background by using this Nova plugin now i'm going to use this uh, animated background to create an awesome text animation so just select this nova and add an ellipse mask with this so click on this ellipse button to add an ellipse mask with this nova all right now i'm going to do some setting with this ellipse so select this ellipse node and just go to this uh, inspector window and uh, here uncheck this solid option and I'm going to set this width value 0.1 soft is value something around 0.1 and I want to animate this ellipse so I'm going to set the size of this ellipse 0.7 height value 0.7 and now I'm going to animate this width and height so just go to on frame number 60 which is equal to 2 second according to 30 frame per second and uh, right click on width click on animate right click on height click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and then go to 
very first frame of this animation and just drag this ellipse and set it to zero all right and we get this type of output here just go to frame number 120 which is equal to 4 second according to 30 frame per second and create one more keyframe on frame number 120 by clicking on this button and then go to the end of this animation and uh, just drag this ellipse outside of this frame and uh, set this value something around 1.5 all right so we get this type of uh, animation now let's colorize this so click on this button to add a color corrector node just drag this color corrector to the viewer hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and call it color all right and now select this color and let's select a color so i'm gonna select this color you can choose any color that you want and now i'm going to create a duplicate of these node so select these node hit ctrl c to copy hit ctrl v to paste basically we have to create a duplicate of these node let's rename it properly so this is gonna be ellipse 2 Hit OK. And now we have two outputs here the color 1 and the color 2. Now I want to blend two different colors to get better result. So select this color 2, drag it to the viewer, and let's select a different relative color like this. And now I'm going to create a time gap of 15 frames between these two outputs. So what we have to do, just select this animated ellipse go to spline window hit f4 to full screen let's minimize all the nodes select this ellipse 2 click on fit and select these two keyframes open this ellipse 2 and here we have width and height so let's do one by one so uncheck this height for now and select these two keyframes only and just go to on frame number 15 which is equal to half a second according to 30 fps and hold this point hold shift on the keyboard and just drag it over here all right do the same thing for this height so uncheck this width check this height select these both keyframes hold this point hold shift on the keyboard and just drag it like this all right and close this spline window and now we have two different outputs so I'm gonna merge this color 1 and color 2 both the output so what we have to do we have to take a new merge node so just drag this merge on this uh, flow window and we get these two points the background point and the foreground point so i'm going to use this color one as a background and color two as a foreground so i'm going to connect this background point with this uh, color and foreground point with this color two and just drag this merge one to the viewer and now we get this type of output as you can see now just select this ellipse one just go to on frame number 60 where we have created a keyframe and just make this size a little bit bigger so this value something around 0.8 and do the same thing on frame number 120 where we have created another keyframe so just go over on this 120 frame and set this value something around 0.8 and now we have much more better result as you can see and now we have to merge this output on a black background so take a background node and just drag this background to the viewer and as you can see it's a black background and now i'm going to merge this output with this background so we have to take a new merge node so just drag this merge on this flow window and here we have two points background and the foreground so connect this background point with this background and green foreground point with this merge one and just drag this merge two to the viewer 
and we get something like this which is looking much more interesting as you can see now let's add some text over here so what we have to do we have to take a text node so just drag this text on this flow window drag this text one to this viewer and let's type anything that you want so i'm going to type color and in this case i'm using century gothic font style which is my favorite font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want now see the size of this font 0.2 so just go to the end of this animation and right click on tracking click on animate and just go to on frame number 30 which is equal to one second and uh, set this tracking value something around 1.1 and now we have a little bit motion on this text all right and now i'm going to create one more copy of this nova plugin so just select this nova and this color node both hit ctrl c to copy and create a copy of this by hitting ctrl v and now let's rename it properly so select this nova hit f2 on the keyboard call it nova 3 select this color hit f2 call it color 3 all right just drag it over here take a merge node and as you can see we have one more animated background and now i'm going to place this background inside of this text shape so what we have to do we have to use this text as a background and this output as a foreground so connect this yellow background point with this text and green foreground point with this color 3 and just drag this merge 3 to the viewer and now select this merge and i'm gonna place this uh, foreground inside of this background so select this merge 3 go to this inspector window and here we have operator so change this operator over to in now we can see the background only in this text shape now let's change the setting of this uh, nova plugin a little bit so select this nova and uh, here let's uh, increase this uh, scatter solid and make it default make this line thickness default now it's looking more dynamic as you can see hold control and scroll up to zoom in and now i want to add a, a stroke on this edges of this text so what we have to do select this text hit control c to copy and i'm going to paste an instance copy of this text so right click on this and paste an instance and as you can see both are interconnected with each other so in any case if you want to change the text font style or anything else with the text then you have to change in the text one only now select this instance text one and go to this setting tab and here we have appearance parameter so i'm gonna make this appearance independent because right now all the property is linked with this text one so just right click on this appearance and click on d instance and make it independent and then click on this button now i'm gonna merge this instance output with this merge 3 output so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this submerge 3 and green foreground point with this instance text 1 which is our text stroke so just drag this merge 4 to the viewer and we get this type of output so just select this instance and here we have thickness so let's down the thickness value and set this value something around 0.005 all right and we get this type of result which is uh, much more interesting and now i'm going to merge this output with the main background so we have to take a merge node so just drag this merge on this subflow window and again we get these two outputs foreground and the background so i'm going to use this output as a background and this output as a foreground but before that i'm going to deattach this sub black background just like that and then connect this yellow point with this merge one output which is looking like this and green point 
with this merge for output which is looking like this and now drag this merge 5 and we get this type of output and after that i'm gonna attach this sub black background with this output so connect this green point with this just drag it over here drag this merge to the viewer and now i'm gonna animate the opacity of this text so what we have to do just go to on frame number 60 which is equal to 2 second according to 30 fps select this merge 5 and here we have blend and now i'm gonna animate this blend property so right click on blend click on animate and uh, go to on frame number 30 set this blend value 0 and then go to on frame number 120 which is equal to 4 second and click on this button and make one more keyframe on frame number 120 and go to the end of this animation and set this blend value 0 and now we get this type of output as you can see and after that we have to connect this uh, media out with the main output and it's done so just go to this edit tab and here we get this type of output so for cinematic look i'm going to create an aspect ratio so just go to timeline output blanking click on this 2.35 and now if you want to create multiple text then select this fusion composition hit ctrl c to copy and place this cti at the end of this hit ctrl v to paste set the cti on the second fusion composition and then go to your fusion page and here you can change the text so select this text one only and let's type anything Or you can also change the color so select this color one and pick this color maybe select this color two, pick any relative color and uh, do the same thing for this color three and then go to your edit tab all right so click on this loop button go to very first frame of this animation and let's have a look all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then go to the link in the description and download this free plugin and support our channel by clicking on this subscribe button also hit the like button if you like it and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye